So we kind of built our company on trying to be able to service every single person out there. So when we built our trucks, we used the most capable truck that we could find that would fit our application. And that's a Ford F550. It's on a pickup truck frame and we only carry about a thousand gallon tank. So as we're going places, we generally don't have issues with, oh, we can't get there. This guy calls in and orders a septic pumping. And as part of the script that all of our people follow, they ask, is the driveway okay? And he says to this, yes, yes, the driveway is fine. You won't have a problem with it. So we book it and we go out there. As I'm pulling down this long road, I'm thinking I'm in the wrong place. This is like banjo music playing. There's a small creek. We're getting scared. And I see his mailbox with his number on it. I'm like, bazinga, great. And uh, right next to his mailbox is this little area. There's like a parking area. And there is a Subaru. And there is a Ford F-150. And there is a Chevy 4x4 truck. They are parked next to each other at the bottom of the hill. And I look up this driveway that has, it's gravel. It's never been scraped. It, it is horrible. I'm not taking my truck on it. It's a bad driveway. And it is straight up the side of the mountain. And I'm like, oh, shit. So I call the guy up on the phone. And I'm like, hey, <laughs> am I in the right place? Is there, uh, is there another driveway I can, I can kind of sneak around here? And he goes, I'll be right down. And I hear an ATV start. And he comes down the driveway, which is over 400 feet long. He comes down the driveway and his wheels are not spinning. The brakes are locked, dude. He is just sliding down the driveway. And I was like, <laughs> I'm not taking my truck up that. And he gets down there and uh, he says, yeah, just uh, follow me up. The truck's four by four, right? And I was like, yeah, no, the truck's four by four, but we're not going up that driveway. And he said, why not? I said, it's too steep. It's not maintained. You've got 18 inch ruts in it. There's a freaking problem here. Like you don't even take your cars up and use a little ATV. And he goes, well, I want my septic pumped. And I said, I, pfft, <laughs> I want a million bucks, but I'm not taking my truck up the driveway. He goes, I don't see what the problem is. They took the big trucks up the driveway when they built the house. I was like, dude, that was like 30 years ago. And you've done no maintenance to your cliff of a freaking driveway. Like this is where people can come to commit suicide. You just throw yourself off the top of the driveway. And by the time you get to the bottom, you're critically injured. So he's pissed at us because we won't go up his driveway and he goes our ways. And I spend the next five minutes trying to do a 30 point turn to get turned around to leave his house. I finish up the day, get back to the office at eight o'clock at night. And there's a message. He wants to talk to a manager because uh, he wants his septic pumped. Yeah. So I get to return that phone call tomorrow. That's going to be charming. Hey, listen, you guys have a great day.